magical ones. It's Anna Hot to How are you today? Welcome, welcome. You are not late. You are not early. You are right on time, regardless of when you watch this day three in the Microdose Your Magic Facebook group or YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, share, invite people to this sacred space. If you find this information helpful, definitely spread the word. You are not alone in your quest for and hunger for this type of information. And today I want to explore with you on this day three of this mindset magic challenge specifically. We've been diving into various ways to increase your success through your mindset, which is about 80% of your total success in life. That's right. The way you perceive of things, your mindset, the things you are thinking, it's about 80% of your success. So even if you are uber talented at something or you have uh, a gift in one way and a love for something, you've got to also have the mindset to back it up. So today I wanna to introduce to you a really cool shaman trick that I've used for a long time. And it is a sort of manifestation hack and that is if someone wants there to be rain, they don't say, I hope it rains. Where's the rain? Um, you know, guides, angels, whoever, please help it rain, make it rain. Where's the rain? That's actually beating the vibration of there is no rain. There is no rain. So the hack is to actually celebrate something before it's occurred. That is truly the way to be in touch with the manifestation that you desire. Because you're already matched to it. It already is occurring vibrationally. You've sort of skipped to the end. And why do we ever do anything? Because we think it will make us feel a certain way. So if we can tap into that feeling, that resonance, beforehand, then we're a match. We've done our work and we can just simply allow it to come into manifestation from wherever it is. And so today, in this day three Mindset Magic Challenge, I want you all to list something as if it is so, okay? So again, the shaman doesn't say, I hope it rains, where's the rain? The shaman embodies the rain and feels the rain on their body and sees the rain in the puddles building up, experiences the rain, and then it rains. So let's do that together. Let's um, not frame what we hope happens as if we hope it's happening, but rather I'd like you to tell a brief story maybe two to three sentences long, framing something as if it is so. So for me, it would be something like, today I woke up and was delighted to hear the news that I was on the New York Times bestselling list for my book, Resonance Remembrance, and that we did, in fact, go ahead and get the space booked for my um, retreat in Maui and you know, things like that, okay? So you really wanna tap into something as if it is so. And so go ahead and think of something to do with your bliss biz that would be wonderful. And today we aren't thinking of the buts, today we are celebrating. And here's the thing, where two or more are gathered and energizing that reality, it infuses it with that celebration as well. And so I'd like you all, hey Sharon, how are you? I'd like you all to list something and talk about it as if it's already occurred. And then I would like you to pick three comments, if there are that many, and celebrate with that person. Tap into that visualization as if it is so, and celebrate that with them, because that also adds more potent power to that timeline potential occurring when we all feel into those spaces. So that's it today, guys. Celebrate things that you desire as if they are so, as if they've occurred, and the more familiarized you can get yourself with that reality, 
the more okay your ego mind will be with having it occur because the only reason why something isn't occurring is because you aren't yet a match to it. To become a match, savor the flavor of it already having happened and put yourself in that state of vision, of daydreaming, of experiencing that vibration and really play out that story in its fullness with specific details occurring as if it is so. And the more you can do that, the more your subconscious mind and your fear-based um, default programs will say, oh, this is actually familiar. This isn't too out there. This isn't so risky or something to be uh, holding myself apart from. It's very familiar. It becomes closer and closer to the vibration you already embody and in doing so can speed up that manifestation process for you. So go ahead and phrase it below and if you um, end up saying like, I hope this happens, I'm gonna call you out. We're not doing that. We are actually uh, phrasing it as if it is so and then we are joining in celebration as we witness other people's magnificence and their vision occurring in reality, vibrationally, so that it can occur occur in physicality. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed day three. Join me again for day four tomorrow and do like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy this content. Bye for now. Talk to you soon. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Hold on here. <laughs>